The late businessman Jacob Juma's dire warnings have resurfaced to haunt Kenyans, particularly those who voted for President William Ruto's administration. Before his tragic assassination, Juma had prophesied that a Ruto presidency would mark a dark chapter in Kenya's history. On March 28, 2016, Juma took to Twitter to express his concerns, sharing a tweet that now echoes throughout Kenya. Can Kenyans withstand another looter in the name of William Ruto as they did with Moi for 24 years this day and age? It will be a tragedy, Juma tweeted. Now for the past weeks, Juma's old tweets have been resurfacing on Twitter, coinciding with widespread complaints about the high cost of living and the heavy taxes imposed by Ruto's government. It appears that Jacob Juma had a foreboding of the challenges that would befall Kenya under Ruto's leadership, and his prophetic warnings now seems all too relevant. Hello, my name is Chief Okuzo from Plug TV. Jacob Juma's untimely demise occurred on May 6, 2016, when his lifeless body was discovered on Nairobi's Ngong Road, bathed in a pool of blood. Juma, a staunch crusader against corruption, had been a vocal ally of the opposition, especially those who were affiliated with Raila Odinga at that time. Fearlessly condemning the rampant corruption plaguing the nation, he channeled much of his outrage through his Twitter account, where he vented his frustrations. Corruption in Kenya has deep-rooted tendrils, allegedly ensnaring politicians civil servants and business figures. Some in the business community were rumored to support dishonest politicians to safeguard their interests, while politicians sought substantial contributions from business figures during elections campaigns. Yet Jacob Juma chose a different path. As a self-made billionaire in Kenya's business realm, he had close ties with influential figures in government. However, unlike many of his peers who turned a blind eye to political misconduct to preserve relationships, Juma refused to tolerate corruption, making him a pariah and an enemy among his friends. In the wake of Juma's murder, opposition leader pointed fingers at the deputy president William Ruto at that time, who is now the fifth president of Kenya. Juma had repeatedly posted anti Ruto's tweet warning Kenyans against electing him as president. In one tweet, Juma characterized Ruto's as arrogant, abusive, and coercive, and a grabber, and he didn't hesitate to criticize anyone associated with Ruto, including current interior CS Kidure Kendiki, defense CS Aden Duale, transport CS Kipchumpa Morkomen, and others. Ruto was no stranger to corruption scandals in Kenya, and Juma's relentless scrutiny made him an immediate target. Juma even posted a tweet on December 10, 2015, accusing Ruto of plotting his assassination. The person who is obsessed with plans to kill me is William Ruto. I am aware about it. I know that my assassination was discussed on Tuesday, Juma tweeted. Other public figures, including Boniface Mwangi, also accused the then deputy president of orchestrating Juma's murder. Mwangi's tweet hinted at the alleged involvement, saying, I hope deputy president has no plans of killing me the way he killed his old friend, Jacob Juma, a fellow whistleblower. In an interview, Ruto indirectly denied involvement in Juma's murder stating he couldn't answer the question and suggested that Jacob Juma should respond instead. Yes. Did you have anything to do with that? As the late Jacob Juma claimed, as Jerongo claimed, and why you? Well, I think uh, we lost Jacob Juma. That he would be best place to respond to your question. Despite him being dead, now, Juma's death occurred during a period of heightened political tensions leading up to the following year's elections. Philip Juma, Jacob Juma's brother, revealed that during this period, they feared for their lives and chose to keep a low profile. 
They entrusted everything to the government but received no updates on the progress of investigations into Jacob Juma's murder. Now, Jacob Juma's ghost seems to be resurfacing seven years later after his death as his old tweets re-emerge prompting Kenyans to reflect on his warnings against Ruto's regime with a sense of regret. What are your thoughts? Leave your thoughts on our comment section. That is it for now. Thank you for watching. Let's see you next time. Bye-bye.